Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rhodes, and in today's video, I am gonna be sharing with you guys favorite fall slash winter lipsticks. Now, as you guys know, I'm a huge lover of lipstick, so it is really hard for me to narrow this down. But before we do get started, please subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. Also, don't forget to click the post notification bell just to be notified when my videos do go live. And without further ado, let's go on and get into it. Like I said, I will be showing you my most favorite fall slash winter lipsticks. I will be doing a favorite nude lipsticks, favorite nude lip glosses, favorite nude lipstick lip gloss combination with lip liners. I want to be able to share that because I feel like I have like a plethora of amazing nude lip combinations that I want to share with you guys. On top of that, I do want to do like my favorite red lipsticks. As we're winding down to the end of the year, you guys are going be seeing a lot of favorites in every category. I wanted to do this last year, but I just never really got around to it because we had just moved back home and I just didn't have the energy to do it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to categorize them as my favorite liquid lipsticks, bullet lipsticks, and then just randoms that I do have. My lips are going to hurt by the end of this. This is by Dose of Colors. This is the color Charm. This one is absolutely gorgeous. I love, 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 love this one. I'd probably say that this is my number one favorite fall and winter liquid lipstick ever in life. I think I had gotten this in a boxy charm or an ipsy. I'm not quite sure. It was definitely a subscription box. This color is absolutely gorgeous. This glides on so well. There's no patchiness. It doesn't feel super dry. It really doesn't feel like there's anything on my lips. It is right in between like a brick shade with a hint of orange in it or like a terracotta color in it. I've only owned maybe about three dose of colors liquid lipsticks and I think that they do one of the best liquid lipstick formulas out there. This one is by Dose of Colors and the shade is Charmed. This one is Sad Girl by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one is a very deep, deep berry shade with a red glitter in it, like very, very fine red glitter flex in it. This one I have had for a really, really long time. I think this is my second one that I've owned. It's one of those where you just wear a simple eye with it and this is going to be the star of the show. When I had first purchased this, I was working at Nordstrom in the men's department. Now in the men's department, people don't usually dress up a lot. They don't wear crazy makeup. So anytime that I would wear a bright red lip or I would wear this shade right here, I would always get compliments on this lip every single time. It's really pretty because it's got that red fleck in it and you can see it. It also makes your teeth look really white too. I like that aspect as well. This formula can get a little drying sometimes and you can feel the glitter when you rub your lips together at first. But other than that, if you guys don't mind any of that, this is amazing. The color is absolutely beautiful. This is the shade Sad Girl by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Next, we have the Tarte Lip Paint in the shade Fortune. This one is especially one of my favorites. I had gotten this in an Ipsy last year. Probably, I can't even remember, around like April or May. First when I had seen this, I was like, oh, this is too warm tone this this and that but no this is like the perfect brown shade you can mix and match this with almost any lipstick if you want to do it with a nude tone and put it in the center put a little bit of lip gloss over it this will last you almost the whole day this does not budge it does not move if you just leave it by itself it does not budge this is one of the longest lasting liquid lipsticks that I have ever worn in my life I had literally put this on and it dried within seconds it doesn't feel like there's anything on my lips when you move your lips around though, it does feel a bit drying, like a little tight. This is the Tarte Lip Paint in the shade Fortune. This one is by Give Them Lala Beauty. This is the Hydro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Come Over. Now, I had found this one last year. I have had her lip glosses from a couple years ago. Absolutely love those. With her Hydro Mattes, they're supposed to be a hydrating matte liquid lipstick, and they are just that. They don't feel drying at all. They feel comfortable 
beautiful on the lips. It is very lightweight. It doesn't feel like there's anything on my lips. The applicator is really nice. It's just a basic doe foot applicator. You're able to get all of the edges that you need because the doe foot applicator is so small and precise. This is by Give Them Lala Beauty in the shade Come Over. The next one that we have here is by Lime Crime. This is their liquid lipstick in the shade Neptune. Now, this one is a recent find. It is a newer favorite. I knew that for fall and for winter that I was going to be wearing the shade a lot because it is absolutely gorgeous. In camera, to me, like in the viewfinder, it does kind of look a little bit more purple, a little bit more gray toned, but when I look in the mirror, it's like a brown purple. The color just works really well on my skin tone. The liquid lipstick is really comfortable to wear. It has a smaller applicator, so you're able to get into all of the corners. This does take a little bit more time to dry than my other liquid lipsticks, so when I put my lips together right now, it's kind of sticky, but the nice thing about this is that when I do press my lips together, the lipstick doesn't come apart. This is by Lime Crime, and the shade is Neptune. As you guys can see here, I have a thing for brown. This is by Milani. This is the Amore Shine Liquid Lip Color in the shade Foxy. Now, this one I had seen a couple years ago, and I can't remember who I had seen had it, but I was like, I need to get my hands on all of those. Those look right up my alley. I love a good kind of like shiny lipstick lip gloss type situation. This is more of like a cooler tone brown, which I prefer. This one is really comfortable. It is really pretty. It's opaque. It smells really nice. It applies really well. It is just such a beautiful color. It is one of those that I gravitate toward. And then I'll put my Maybelline Purely Nude in the center. It is a very, very light beige nude lipstick that I'll put in the center of it. And it is absolutely gorgeous. It is one of my most favorite nude combinations that I do wear. And also another thing that I really do like about this is that when it wears, like for some reason, it just looks better. Like, I don't know if it's the color, if it's because the color lightens up a little bit or whatever have you, I'm not quite sure. But when I wear this, it's like magic. It's like, it just makes your lips look so much better and they feel moisturized. This is by Milani. This is the Amore Shine Lip Lacquer in the shade Foxy. The next lipstick that we have is by MAC. It is the satin lipstick in the shade Captive. Before YouTube got big, before the makeup industry became saturated, with lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, eyeshadow palettes, whatever have you. There wasn't any other brand bigger than that at the time and bullet lipsticks were it. I still have a ton of them. I don't wear them as much as I used to, but I still have them, but there's nothing better than having a MAC bullet lipstick. It's just, it's iconic. It really is. I think that the shade is really pretty. It's not like Rebel, where Rebel is like, has that purple undertone. This one is a lot lighter. It's a little softer. If you are someone who doesn't want to do like a very pow in your face a berry shade like rebel or like the abh sad girl you still want something that's going to have a little bit of kick to it this is definitely the one to go with it's really comfortable it's really easy to apply it's nostalgic for most of us this is the mac lipstick in the shade captive the next one that we have here is by revlon this is the ultra hd matte lip color in the shade wish now this one absolutely love it. As you guys can tell, I love my berry tones. I love my berry tones for fall and for winter time. I just love that deep, dark lip with a very simple eye. That's just my signature look, period. And this one is really nice because not only is it affordable, you get a lot of product in it, and it's a very, very beautiful shade. I absolutely love Ultra HD Matte Lip Color line. At first, it does go on a little bit more shiny, and you're like, this is not matte. But after you do apply everything, you literally just go in with one coat. It is definitely matte. It is beautiful, really easy to apply. The applicator is really soft and comfortable. The one thing about this one is that it's not going to be as opaque as say like a liquid lipstick. This one is more of like a stain almost because you can kind of still see your lip shade. It feels really soft and moisturizing like nothing is there. That's like the best way to explain these, but the color is absolutely beautiful. It's like a muted red berry tone. And on top of that, it's affordable. This is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in the shade Wish. The next one that we have here is by Maybelline. This is the Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade More Rust. Oh, you guys, what can I say about this one? This one is, oh my God, it's absolutely gorgeous. I've already said this before, but when you think of fall, 
What colors do you think of? You think of orange, you think of rust, you think of yellow, red, you think of the leaves falling, you think of Halloween and pumpkins and all that stuff. You think of those shades. This is the shade that reminds me the most of fall. This is a beautiful orangey rust shade. I don't own anything else that is this color and I'm actually really happy that I did get this when I did because I can wear this all fall now. I do not see a lot of people talking about these lipsticks and these lipsticks are absolutely amazing they are straight up matte i do like the applicator and how you it's just kind of like rounded off but it's still really easy to get that crisp line these are packed with pigment your lip color does not show when you apply these they smell really nice if you're thinking to yourself what is the difference between the ultimate and what are these the matte lipsticks the matte lipsticks glide on a little better than these do but this is way more matte than this is and the staying power of this is better than this one here. It just screams fall to me. It is so comfortable. This is the Ultimate Lipstick by Maybelline in the shade More Rust. So that completes my video for my most favorite fall and winter lipsticks. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. I had a lot of fun making it. It was nice to actually be able to go through my collection and see what I have, pull out what I have, and actually wear what I have and what I haven't worn in a really long time so yeah it was really fun doing this so if you guys did enjoy my video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle if there's anything else you guys do want to see please let me know in the comment section down below also let me know if you guys have tried any of these liquid lipsticks or these lipsticks or if there's anything else that you guys do want to suggest to me to try I'm always open to trying other brands other colors I will be doing a declutter soon of my lipstick collection because a lot of the things have have expired and I just need to get rid of them so let me know in the comment section down below thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one <laughs> oh. excuse, me, my, excuse me I need my dinner <laughs> oh good mm -mm. <laughs>